nikimalizia niliona wakora yote Nairobi na wewe mheshimiwa David Rais aki wewe ni mwanaume <laughs> mimi ningetaka nikue kama wewe wanaume ile yote wakora Nairobi wanashikana wanaleta jama wanakupiga wewe na hautikiziki good morning good afternoon good evening whatever you watching from ikoni makavelo was up to when he said if a prince bases the defense of his state on mercenaries he will never achieve stability or security those who read to the end will connect the dots in my deduction that if regard gachagua's impeachment goes through president william ruto will have a weak political farewell why do i say so president mike bucky's government was shaken when kijana malwas died on august 20, uh, 23rd 2003 barely a year after kibaki took over the government from Uh, former president moi it is reported that young and ambitious politicians lined up their interest for the vacancy kibaki called his close con- um, confidence and requested that a man he thought who, who is advanced in age mature and with no presidential ambitions it was then that mudi awori mudi arthur awori was president president presented and uh, true to kibaki's wish Angomuti stuck no leg out of the plane as the vice president during Kibaki's first term. The book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible says, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the man the sun. This wisdom is also true in politics. That is the reason President Ruto chose regarding Kachagua. Why? Kachagua, as his DP and later purportedly supported his deputy impeachment. In the other hand, Ken Mjungu has been speaking about the Kachagua impeachment with a lot of confidence. It is like the, he knows something we don't know. In this video, he explains in detail why Dindi Nyoro is not uh, even in the top 3 list of people being considered to succeed uh, uh, Gachagua the deputy president that is being impeached so let's listen to what uh, to the video what Ken Bijungu had to say well um, i've come here to respond to questions that have been raised in my inbox and especially the responses from the last video that I posted yesterday um a lot of you are asking why I left Ndindi Nyoro out of that picture um it's because Ndindi Nyoro is not a candidate for deputy president once regarding Gashagwa is impeached and I'll tell you why um the president likes people who take responsibilities or responsibility for their actions He likes people who own things. He 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 likes to see people um take up things and execute them. Uh I know there's this talk that uh uh the president wants to do everything. But on this, uh I'll tell you why what I'm speaking about is related to Ndindi Nyoro not being a candidate not even being in the top 3 uh is because uh, one of the things that hurt the president so much in this country is uh the gentry demonstrations i mean these guys almost took over this country from the president and uh it was because of the finance bill now the finance bill had two people um who were the image of this bill now it had courier uh the mp the moral mp kimani kuria and it had dindi nyoro who is uh, the top of the budget committee so the president was put on his defense to the extent that he didn't sign the finance bill because of uh the gen z and yet he was left alone now at that time the people who are the faces of uh the finance bill i know Kimani really tried to defend this but Ndindi Nyoro was nowhere to be seen. He did not take responsibility. He sort of was a coward. He did not own this process. They left it to the president. I mean, 
at the time of crisis, that is when you know who a person is, how they handle the crisis, how they deal with it, how they respond to it. Now, that was a time of crisis that Kimani Kuria, whose house was burned, and Dindi Nyoro needed to own this document. And not to the exclusion of other people, they needed to own it and take responsibility and look like it's ours. But they left it to the president. The president dealt with his own skunk and to see how it panned out. So Dindi Nyoro exposed himself. He showed that he cannot be, um, what is the word? He cannot be dependent on. Now, if we can't depend on you, to take ownership of the finance bill as a, someone who sits at the top of the budget committee, how do we depend on you to be the deputy president? Reason, Ndindi Nyoro, is nowhere to be seen in the top three that I gave you yesterday. Number one, Anu Iguru. Number two, Kimani Shumwa. And number three is the good professor, Kindiki. Now, before I end the video, I'd like to tell you something. Now, a lot of you are, are also... Um, asking a question about uh, um, what next what next after next week on Tuesday it will go to the Senate, that one I explained and I'll explain further that whole process but I want to tell you um, what the President will do if the Senate confirms the impeachment for the National Assembly as submitted by the Speaker to the other Speaker, Amazon Kingi the President will nominate a Deputy President once he nominates a Deputy President then it goes to Parliament for approval, just like Parliament approves all these things. Now you ask you 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 ask probably why is it that it doesn't go to the party? It only goes to the party because the president at that time, as a candidate, is running for president. Now he's president. Now once he's president, the party does not vet his choices. It doesn't go back to the party. It's he is the president. So the president will nominate one of those people I have mentioned, and once he nominates, it goes to Parliament for approval. In my next video, I'll be explaining to you the whole process and why it had to be this process. So in the run-up to the 2022 general elections, from the look of things, Ruto consciously or unconsciously selected Kachagua as his deputy to settle some political scores. First, he wanted a deputy whose image he hated to see when he, Ruto, looked in the mirror. He could not imagine repeating the same mistake that his boss, Uru Kenyatta, made by choosing an ambitious deputy. Secondly, Ruto wanted a person who, according to his assessment, was not presidential material. He envisioned it a deputy who he could treat as a weaker political vessel. Thirdly, Ruto needed to partner with a person who had been with Uhuru Kenyatta since the early 2000s when he, when the late Mzimoi baptized Uhuru into politics. No other politician was more qualified than brother Geoffrey when William cast his political lot. Was Ruth right or wrong? I'm still determined that what a political uh, chessboard has evidence of us of today is that Kachago was shown his boss teeth. President Ruto has taken Kachagua seriously. He is like a father who believes that if a son points a toy gun at them, they will still do the same with really gun. The second part of Kachagua's impeachment abracadabra is that the legislators have varying reasons for removing the deputy president. Undoubtedly, their interests and those of the president are as far from each other as heaven is from the earth. The majority of Murima politicians are unconsciously yeah, trying to eliminate Kachagua so, as, so that they create Lakuma in the Mount Kenya region's political Lynch P. They hope that the ball will be in the air for anyone to catch once he is out of the way. That's why they steered clear of active roles in the impeachment circus. It is the same reason Dini Nyoro has chosen to pursue the same goal through association. He knows that by supporting Kachagua, people can easily crown him as Murima envoy. As a professional investi investor, and uh, Dini Nyoro is uh, using the 
concept of invest, investing in high risk plans to, for high political returns. Therefore, whether they, sub, they support or oppose Kachagua, all Mount Kenya region politicians are fighting for the same thing different ways. In addition, Mount Kenya politicians are citing up Kalonzo Msioka by having come up moves, move Kachagua's impeachment motion. Later this will be used against Kalonzo. He will be said to have had his, you know, people participate in the removal of Murima. You see how things are unfolding. Kalonzo is being used somewhere by this guy, you know, tabling the motion to impeach Kachagua. So later on, they will turn against Kalonzo. On the other hand, the legislators from Rift Valley are cautioning their brother from humiliation period. Finally, the opposition legislators have unique interest. They see the DP as a firewall that they must collapse first to access their arc target, the president. Their decisive goal is to conquer since they are, you know, technically the government in waiting. They will ultimately desire to impeach the president either directly through proxies, but do they say?